All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be looking at Taja. Now, this is a very interesting software. It's basically using uh, this software to to use AI to optimize your YouTube listings, right? So you create a piece of content for YouTube and then you pl uh, plug that video into Taja and um, then they will come out and they will suggest titles to you and tell you what a, vir a viral score um, for the titles they're giving you. And the way that they come up with these titles is basically using their understanding of the YouTube algorithm and kind of the different trigger words and the emotional words that you can use um, in your titles in order to get uh, people to click on your video more. So it's a little bit different than just going after search traffic. If you're going after search traffic, you want that keyword in your title. But generally speaking, and with my experience on YouTube for years now, is that your uh, like viral type clickbait type uh, title does have more of a chance of going viral than something that people search for. And I have the stats to prove this, that if I went and showed you some analytics in my some of my YouTube channels, you would see that many, many, many uh, videos uh, are basically what you would call a viral or clickbait uh, type uh, T YouTube title, right? No one's actually searching uh, for what you're putting in the title uh, of your YouTube video. And then somehow it gets thousands of views. And then you can also see that by if I go into YouTube studio. Okay, so here's one on one of my other channels right over here. And we're going to actually um, I just pre recorded a video for my teach me money methods channel, right? And we're going to use that in today's video uh, to test out Taja. Okay, but if we come through here and we look at analytics, for example, I'm gonna go to analytics, and then I'm gonna click on more right here. And you can see that everything is green on my channel right now. So right now I've got um, 5000 views in the last 28 days, I'm trying to kind of revive this channel the last couple months um, to kind of revive the channel. And you can see, look, the channel was kind of dead right here, like this dead in the water. And then this last uh, about six weeks, I've really vamped, revamped the channel to get hundreds of views per day now and uh, so forth, right? And so uh, everything's up, watch time's up, views up, subscribers are up and uh, revenue's about the same uh, right now. But we can come through here and you can see um, I've really been pushing the my, the content lately as well. And this is helping me to bring more customers to my Six Figure Freedom Club. All Just hundreds of views, guys. And I'm bringing more members to my uh, Six Figure Freedom Club. Uh, I'm getting about a, a new sign up every about 48 hours. So it's pretty good. Uh, I don't have to spend any money in order to get people to uh, come in, join my amazing community over here to learn how to uh, make YouTube a full-time business for them. Okay. So we come through here, I'm going to go click on more and we're going to go and look at the uh, traffic source. And we come through here and look at traffic source. Now this is what I'm talking about why a tool like a Taja could actually be uh, beneficial. Um, because I have the stats to show you that uh, browse features brought in the most views 42% views on my channel. That means that when people go to their home page um, and they're browsing to find a video, YouTube has recommended under the browse features on the home page. It says right here, traffic from the home page of YouTube, the home screen, the subscription feed, and other browsing features. So this did not rank for somebody typing in a keyword and then they found my video, that is not how people found my channel. They found it through YouTube, basically put it, slapping this up on people's home pages that might be interested in my content. And then they went and watched that, okay? Um, and then, so we do have YouTube search, that's awesome. We've got some good YouTube search going on there, but then look, channel pages, we've got suggested videos going on right there and so forth. So um, the YouTube recommended is basically the browse right here. I don't think that it, they break it down into recommended. Browse is basically YouTube recommending your channel. And that is right here, the number one way that I get traffic on this channel and i believe that it would also be that way for my learn wire channel as well i think search would also come in at number two so search is still important yes uh, youtube is still a search engine absolutely and i do go after those review type keywords that i know i want to rank for at the top but the um when we come over here to 
look at the types. I'm going to exit out over here. The types of videos right over here. If you look at this, like I tried rank IQ affiliate program, 1901 day right here, rank number one, no one's typing this stuff into, uh, into YouTube. They're not actual search terms. And I hope that, that you can kind of understand the distinction. So with this success right here of the channel and the views that we're getting right over here, that's exactly what Taja uh, helps you to do. So that was a long introduction, but I think it was really uh, kind of a, a important to share with you some of my knowledge um, about the, the the distinction between using a tool like this and then just going after, um, you know, a because um, we can always come in here real quick, just to show you the difference, we can come in here and use vidIQ and I can go over here and go to the keyword inspector. And then I can say, you know, um, how to make money online, push enter. And then th all these keywords right here, we know that people do search this stuff. People go to YouTube and they just type in passive income. They're going to get a lot of different video variations for that as well. And so this is a, the, you know, they're very low. Uh, they're not long tail keywords. They're only like three words or less. Um, so it's pretty broad. Um, and what you can actually, then these are going to be hard to rank for keywords because there's only like three words in them, right? So the YouTube algorithm um, does favor clickbaity type keywords right over here, titles that are engaging that people, someone would want to, like no one's actually going up to the YouTube search bar and typing in $1,900 in one day with affiliate marketing. Here's how no one on planet earth is typing this exact phrase in, right? So, but I still managed to get 800 views from this video. It's because uh, people see this 1900 right here and they lie, they're interested in affiliate marketing. They also want to know how, and the, wow, he did it in one day. Okay, cool. Boom. And, and the human brain can, can do that in a matter of about a split second. They can actually look at this right here and, and then combination with the thumbnail and go, boom, I want to watch that. Boom. So this is a small channel that died and I'm still getting, you know, upwards close to a thousand views for the, for the, um, for that video with no advertising or anything like that. Right. And so that is the psychology behind this. And that's what Taja is going to help us do. So I'm going to do something different in this one. I'm actually going to go and buy this software. And because I've already done um, some due diligence and done a lot of research, this is a tool that I think that I could actually use in my business. And so we're going to go, I've already, I'm not going to really spend any time on the page here because I already just um, did my own kind of unique introduction. Um, this would be an alternative to TubeBuddy and IQ. I will tell you that with vidIQ, I do like vidIQ. I don't use TubeBuddy. I like vidIQ. And I just signed, I just paid um, the second time um, and within the last year for their boost plan so I can manage three channels. And that's about $79 a month. That's pretty expensive. And I just paid for that like yesterday, right? So I'm using that because I like to use all the tools. I like to use their suggested titles feature and all their different uh, tools that they uh, continue to develop. I really like it. But if this could be a tool that I could help me grow like crazy, then maybe I don't have to pay for that boost anymore. And uh, so I want to do some testing with this. But what I did find out with Taja is that um, in order to stack codes, right? So I just want you guys, this is a, a good uh, tip for you guys because I've done my back research for you guys. If you come in and you get one of these lower plans and then you're like, oh yeah, I love this software. I need to upgrade the plan and maximize it. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a, a, a headache for you to upgrade. You have to send an email to them. Um, I think it's down here. Uh, just trust me on that. Um, that they, you have to email support and send them your code and then they have to go and upgrade your account. No one likes to upgrade and buy a code and then have to wait for their customer support to get back to them, right? I wish that they would have added a feature on their site to where you can just plug in the code and push enter. Some of these vendors on AppSumo has done an amazing job with the upgrade, um, you know, the up, being able to upgrade your, your codes. Um, Taja is not one of them. And so um, I would recommend like in, in in my case, um, I just have a feeling, you know, I have a feeling that this is going to be a software that I want to go all in on. So with that said, I'm going to go and stack the fourth code, which is $196. Let me just go through the plans real quick. So plan one is $49 and normally it would be $210 worth. And you're going to get um, all the features above, you can go and read that really. And then you can come over here. You're going to get uh, four title generations 
uh, per month, four description generations per month, four chapter generations per month, four hashtag generations per month, and four you, uh, thumbnail idea generations per month. And this right here, guys, from what I've seen, it actually creates like a mid journey type image, high quality image based on the concept of your video and actually gives it to you. So no longer is it just giving you a prompt or like a lot of tools, maybe it just gives you a prompt and then you got to go to mid journey and try to get, you know, like this is giving you full blown high definition AI, um, images based on the concept of your video. So it's really insane. So four videos per month would just be, is just nothing. I mean, I do four videos a day in my business, right? So this will not work for me. I already know that. So uh, plan two is $98. You're going to double that, right? So uh, plan two is $98. You get eight of everything. Now plan, f uh, plan three is $147 and you get 12 videos. Uh, 12 descriptions, 12 chapters, 12 hashtags, and 12 thumbnails, right? So uh, for the casual, I, 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 guys, just trust me on this one. I wouldn't go less than plan three. That's only 12 videos a month. And I manage, um, you know, between three and five YouTube channels um, all the time, right? And so I'm pumping out literally a uh, hundred videos a month. And so even plan four wouldn't be enough for me, but I'm going to, you know, for three channels, I would say it's going to be pretty close um, to being able to use this for every single video. So plan four give, is $196 and it gives you 50 videos per month and 50 everything, right? So in this case, this is just one of the things I haven't even seen the software or I'm not going to get the free trial or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and sign up to plan four right now. I'm going to go sign up and I'll be back and I'll show you how we will use Taja and all. I haven't, I even uh, recorded my Teach Me Money Methods channel for the day before this video so we can go and see what it can do for that video to get us optimized, okay? And we'll measure results and so forth. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are in, I will say that uh, it, it's not my favorite uh, way of becoming a customer. We had to go all the way through the Stripe uh, kind of, uh, workflow uh, in order to become a member, right? I had to put in the coupon code from my AppSumo ac uh, account, right, from purchasing it. So I put the code in uh, under a coupon while you're checking out with like Stripe, right? So I kind of don't like that. It's not going to prevent me from, you know, getting the software, but I don't really like that method. I think you should be able to sign up your account and on while inside of the um, the software, you should be able to insert your code and then the, you become a member, right? So uh, some vendors just have this down uh, smack and they do a great job with um, with these lifetime deals and uh, making AppSumo customers. But one thing, um, and we're going to get right back to this, but I'm going to go to the homepage real quick. This is a software that's already been out, right? They already have visitors coming to their site and so forth. They already have, a cl they're claiming that they already have over 11,000 creators using this right now. And we can come through here and you can see um, some of these people that are using it and some of these really giant channels right here. And one of them that I know is this Josh Mayo, Joshua Mayo, 760,000 subscribers uh, right there. So they do have some big name uh, YouTube channels that they're saying are using this. They also have a ton of social proof right here. You're welcome to pause the screen and read some of this right here as well. These are real people with real testimonies. They may have reached out to them and, you know, done some deals, influencer deals and so forth. We already know how that kind of works, but, um, that it is there, right. And they have uh, really good reviews as well. They've already been on uh, product hunt. Um, and so forth. So you can read through, they have a really nice website, uh, explains everything. Um, 103 plus million views generated, 87% more organic reach. Um, this is what the pricing on their everyday is. And I believe that they do have people actually, cause this already launched. So up until this point, the, and I don't believe this has ever been on a lifetime deal or on AppSumo, leave a comment below and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've seen this software in the last three years. And I don't think that they ever came here yet. So this is actually a true established business already. And they already have uh, up until this point, all members be before coming to AppSumo are paying monthly. And these are the prices. So the plan that I just uh, picked up is the King plan. I am going to have to email their support with my other three codes so they can apply it to my account. 
Um, but this is, uh, I got the King plan, which is $80 a month, right? For those 50 videos. So, um, they actually will give you unlimited if you are on this plan and you pay monthly. Um, but I'm getting 50 lifetime deals. So if I ever actually wanted to do like a hundred videos a month or something like that, then I probably would actually have to pay monthly for that. So they do have a little, uh, seven day free trial and, they also have been featured on Futurepedia, uh, Yahoo Finance, and uh, Product Hunt, and Associated Press, and so forth. So pretty nice laid out uh, site. Doesn't look like they're like hiding anything or uh, anything like that. Um, so let's go dive in. I'm going to say start with, uh, I'm not going to start with an example. Um, now, what you can do over here is um, you can add and manage a channel so right over here, I'd push plus and we would go and link our channel. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I probably am going to link a couple of channels to this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and we're just going to go to a YouTube video right over here. And then I'm going to go and uh, looks like the YouTube video, you can go and publish it and you can leave it under unlisted if you want to. Um, and I think that that's what I'm going to do. Um, so let me go and upload that video and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, this is the video that I'm uploading to my Teach Me Money Methods channel. Some of you won't know about this channel, but it's basically where I share my journey of affiliate marketing and YouTube. Um, and I kind of teach you um, how to grow uh, on YouTube and to make money from it, right? Um, and so uh, I just uploaded this, and this is how to make money through affiliate marketing with faceless YouTube uh, videos. And I got this from a vidIQ suggested, uh, AI suggested uh, title. So I uh, just uploaded this um, just now and it's under unlisted, right? So it's not, so you can see right here, it's unlisted. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, uh, you know, uh, the video URL. We're gonna come back over here to <clears throat> Taja and I'm gonna put that in right here. And then what I'm going to say is uh, really all I need to do is just put in the actual title right here. So I'm gonna say control A, control copy, come back over here, and we can just put that in right over here and just see how well it does with the title that I had, because that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Tone right over here, let's just go for fun. I'm gonna go click baity, and then I'm gonna say optimize. So now it's gonna go out there and do its thing. This is the gold. This is why you would pick up Taja. It's elevating, uh, evaluating our channel audience. It's analyzing our content uh, niche, analyzing channel keywords, um, analyzing channel brand voice, right? Um, and then transcribing the video. So it's gonna actually transcribe the entire video. It's diving into the video content, extracting top SEO keywords. Uh, what else is it doing? Crafting captivating title options right here. Uh, predicting future viewership. I mean, there's a lot of AI things going on right over here. Ranking titles for optimal engagement. Uh, composing and engaging description, identifying chapters. And that's another big thing that it does is it will provide the chapters for us based on the transcript. And uh, so that's going to save you a ton of time building relevant tags for discovery. <clears throat> and it just keeps going. So that chapter is, uh, providing the chapters is a huge one, right? Because um, that's why I don't even put chapters on my videos. I know a lot of you wish I did, but after a couple of days, YouTube does automatically do it in, in most cases. But this is a great way that when you re release your video, you get to control the, um, the channels. And then you also um, get to have them right out of the gate. And that actually helps YouTube out. And I do think that that does help with your video and your SEO and your rankings is if you provide um, all that information to YouTube and make it easier for them. So right now it's just uh, continuing to stay on here. I haven't skipped forward in the video or anything like that. Uh, and then it's done. So I don't know how long that took one to two minutes. I was talking the entire time. Um, but that is super fast to do all of the things that it just did. Let's take a look at what it actually did for us. Optimize YouTube video. <clears throat> Advanced optimized is automatically on input keywords and tone. Yeah, so we did that right there. So we have our transcript is right here. We can go and look at it. Here is the actual transcript right here. Um, welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. Uh, so it did good on that. So we have this entire transcript right there looking good. Re-optimize titles. So if you don't like the titles it's telling us, then you can go and um, ask for new ones. 
Um, so we have faceless YouTube cash flow, uh, no camera needed. That's the one that it's saying to go for. Maximize YouTube earnings without showing your face. Hidden YouTube niches, no face, more. Um, all these are very accurate to what I teach in the video. Uh, revolutionize earnings with screen record tutorials. That's right as well. Sketch a profit art. Uh, so it literally took the transcripts. I talked about uh, uh, artists and sketching and so forth in the video. And it even found that one as well. But faceless YouTube cash flow. Uh, no camera needed. Um, that's the one it's telling us to go for. So that is the one that I would go with, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this right here. And we're going to go from what the, uh, this long uh, title right over here. And I'm actually going to go and just paste that in. It's ready to go. It's very short and sweet. We're going to come back over here and we're going to keep making our way down. This is kind of what it would maybe look like. Um, you know, they're kind of saying, you know, hey, in one day, you're either going to get 100 views if you use the top rated one over here, or you're going to have, you know, maybe 85 views or 70 views, the lower you go with the score, the vir viral score, right? Um, I'm not really sure if we select a different one. I, it just highlights uh, differently right there. I'm not really sure if it does anything else for us, but so that's what we're going to go with right now. And then, um, so we have our okay so if we switch the title over here to something else right for example then down here the title will also switch right and you can push the continue button so i'm not really sure what we do so faceless youtube cash flow i'm going to push the continue button so studying your chosen title so now you do want to push that blue button because now it's going to compose our description based off of the title that we did select um i believe that it already did that I think that it already does this for the number one chosen one. So you will probably only have to push that continue button. I wish I would have tested that out and seen what the text was already. Um, Cause it already has a description made for us. And I believe, like I said, I believe it does make the description based off of the fact that most of the time you're probably going to go with their top um, suggested AI title. So the next time I do a video right here, I'll just go and I'll probably want to take a note of um, all the information that it has, and then I'll um, run the continue button just to make sure that like that concept is, is accurate. So optimization is still in progress. Please head to the dashboard and refresh the page. Click on your video and refresh this page until the description tags um, go to dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to go to dashboard and I'm just going to push refresh. And then I'm going to come back over here and click on my video and I'm going to come back down. So here's the description. No camera needed to start earning passive income, learn how blah, blah, blah. So we've got our description right there. And then we have our chapters right over here. Uh, profitable niche selection, faceless YouTube, faceless YouTube uh, channel earnings, potential six figure freedom club introduction, blah, blah, blah. So some pretty good stuff. It's got a nice chapter um, for us right there. So what I would do is I would just grab this. It looks like they have a copy button right here. So a, a, an easy copy button. That's great. I'm going to come back over here into my channel and I really don't want to miss, uh, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to come right here and I don't know if so. And I also have my legal disclaimer right there as well. Does it give us the hashtags? Where are the hashtags in the description? Um, cause we have tags right there. So that's one thing that I would like to you know, ask, or I'm just wondering is that I'm not seeing hashtags in here. And I always put hashtags in my videos. And then also right over here, when we look at uh, down here, you can see they have hashtag generation. I'm not seeing the hashtag. So that's just one little, uh, you know, red flag right there, or just kind of like tick mark uh, that I would like um, a little clarification on, because I don't see hashtags in the description over here which they should have some, they should have a little hashtag section in the description. Um, we do have our tags and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I would do or what I'm going to do, <clears throat> which is I'm just gonna come through here and right after, uh, right after probably my call to actions right there, I'm gonna go like this and I'm just gonna say control V. I'm gonna put the whole thing in right there. And we have our chapters if someone is interested in that and wants to see that that's really cool this will also help with just ranking and so forth and if someone does click on the description and uh, it'll be at their convenience as well um so we have that and then what we want to do is come back to taja and come back and grab our <clears throat> tags right here so i'm going to go and just look at them what is youtube automation make money with filming without filming 
Faceless uh, channel tips, how to earn on YouTube, make money online 2023. I'm glad that it didn't pull in 2022 and all that. Um, there's a lot of tools that are, go out there and they suggest all these old keywords that were popular at one time, um, but they're no longer popular. But because since they were so popular at one time, they continue to get suggested but it's not relevant, right? Um, earn without showing face. Uh, so these are all very, um, you know, this is this is all very relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that, come back and come back over here and go into the tags section down here. I'll just close out the tags and I'll paste all those tags that they want me to use inside of there. And I'm going to go ahead and push save at this point. And then we come back and we have one final thing. Now it does look like you can publish a YouTube channel linking is in beta and will be improved over the following weeks. Um, if you have, it sounds like you have to have your, this channel linked. And if you have it linked, you can actually publish to YouTube, which that could actually save a ton of time, even with just the copying, pasting and so forth. But I'm not going to go through that in this video as well. The video is already getting long as well. But here's the exciting part. One of the reasons that kind of made me want to buy this, I'm hoping it can do something. I'm very curious to see what it's actually going to do with my channel, but I'm going to hover over this and read it first. It says thumbnails are currently in beta. They work uh, best with faceless channels, illustrations, and single person channels. We are working hard on improving this feature for other channel types, such as podcasts, Please uh, give feedback using the thumbs up and down on images you like, and Taja will improve over time. So I'm going to say generate um, thumbnails. It's understanding channel thumbnail guidelines. It's inspecting video for visual highlights, identifying striking thumbnail candidates, choosing most engaging thumbnail concepts, and we'll see who knows if this will work for this type of channel. Uh, it says it's enhancing thumbnails for maximum engagement finalizing the perfect thumbnail right here. So it's pretty fast. It's creating images for us. Like I said, I don't know what to expect for this. Uh, I'm on camera in the lower right hand corner. It's also a screen recording tutorial type video. We'll see what it comes up with for us. Okay, so I think that took like one or two minutes. And we'll come right over here and look at um, so it looks like it gives us three visuals to look at. Um, it does take a concept of faceless, right? So no camera, no camera needed. There's actual text on the screen. Am I able to look at this? Wow. This is pretty insane. There's just a little bit of an issue with the text down here that I might not be able to use that. Um, maybe I could take this into Canva and sharpen that part up. But the fact that this is actually mind blowing guys, because there is, I mean, mid journey can't even do this. So there is something else going on in the background um, there. I know that there's one other software out there that uh, is in the kind of um, print on demand space where there's been some other YouTubers talking about it. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head, that it is AI that can create graphics uh, with accurate text. Maybe they're plugged into that technology as well. But the fact that this says no camera and it, it actually is spelled right and then no camera needed is spelled right as well. The rest of this text doesn't really matter to me. I actually would use this probably. And then you have this Superman right here and then he has a cape and everything and then no face. This is an insane uh, graphic right here with shadowing and money and everything. This is actually like mind blowing that I would actually have to go out and pay someone a lot of money to, to produce something like this. This is actually pretty cool. We will see what you could do is take one like this and it says no camera and that's perfect. Um, and then you could actually go in there and put your text in Canva over this. But this is actually the most impressive part of this entire thing. Just the, the actual thumbnails are mind blowing. I like this one. I like blue. It's using blue and yellow. Um, and does it know that that's my favorite colors for the channel as well? Let's look at the other one. Faceless YouTube cash flow, no camera needed right here. You've got a really good thumbnail as well. Now, if I had TubeBuddy and I was paying like $70 a month, I'd be able to split test all of these, um, these thumbnails. There's not really any other software that I know of that you can split test um, thumbnails um, with, um, that you can split test thumbnails. Um, so I want to ask you guys, which one do you like better out of these? Um, I think that this one is probably the most advanced, uh, looking one. It's really cool. 
But um, overall, I think I'm going to go with this one. I just think it's polished and looks really cool. Um, and the guy is uh, taking up more of the screen and it just it's it's just perfect. This is really, really good one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this and then it downloads right over here as a PNG. And then we'll come over to the um, video and we will go over here to upload thumbnail and I'll grab that thumbnail right here and I will publish that. So that's going to be the uh, thumbnail. I'm gonna push save right there. And now we have a thumbnail that just looks ridiculous. Now I will say this, um, so it doesn't have a picture of myself. Um, I could t easily take this into Canva and add a picture of myself on the screen as well. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it the way that it is. Looks pretty cool, looks engaging. And this is actually, um, let me go and publish this real quick. So all I have to do is come over here and then fl flip this from uh, unlisted to public and publish. So now we have this uh, completely optimized tags, description, title, and thumbnail. The most uh, mind blowing part of this entire software is there's a lot of softwares that can do all of this part for you, right? We could actually take this and we can go into ChatGPT and use plugins and we can say, hey, give me a better clickbait title um, and for this and make it better. ChatGPT is really good at that. Um, the transcript, this is very valuable as well, that it's actually getting our transcript for us right away. Um, and then the description is not as, this is my least imp um, impressive part right here was just the description itself. I, I'm impressed with the chapters. I think that's great as well. Um, tags is not that that impressive and not that useful, but still cool to have. But like I said, the golden taco for this right here, this is just, I am just thoroughly impressed and just my mind is blown uh, with these graphics that it gave us right here. This is uh, mind blowing that it was able to take my title, take my channel and the the art. Okay, so here's one that we wouldn't be able to use. Uh, I just noticed this, the arm is cut off right here. So automatically one of the three is a no go. I'm trying to think uh, arms, everything looks good right here. So I would be I would use this one as well. And maybe I'll split test this one after uh, 24 hours just to see if it gets a better click through rate. Um, this one, both hands are there. There's nothing weird going on that I notice. This one was the winner for me. I mean, look at the gradient right there, the fade right there. The I mean, it's just a great thumbnail. So this was absolutely mind blowing to me. Um, I absolutely love this. I think it's worth it. The thumbnail part is unbelievable. Um, I'm kind of trying to see re-optimized tags. It would be cool if we could generate more thumbnail visuals. Now, I don't know if that costs more credits or anything like that, but it sure would be... Um, I'm glad that they have provided a, vi uh, they provide a button to create more visuals. Now, like I said, I don't know if this costs more credits. We're not really, I don't really know if we're on a credit system or not. So this one was really, really good. Um, so this is the number of credits I have remaining is three. Uh, I'm going to answer that question right now, guys. So you always have your amount of credits for the month right there. If I generate more thumbnail visuals, I'm going to push that button and we're going to see if it changes it from a three to a two. That will kind of suck in my opinion, but we'll see. All right, so we've got some more right here, guys. So it gave us three more and we still have three credits. So that answers the question of that this does not require more credits or take more credits from you um, if you add more. Um, so maybe you want to go with, um, unless one just nails it out of the park, which I think it did, um, maybe you want to do at least six before you, um, you know, like, so this one right over here, it didn't do good with the arms. So I'll just do it, give it a thumbs down, submitting image. Um, but this one was really good. And so was this one right over here. So you can actually grade these, which is super cool, which is what I'm doing right now. Now, this one is super awesome right here. It just, um, messed up on the cash flow. It messed up on the text right there, but this one would have been awesome. The way that this guy is holding money with no face and everything. I really like this one. I'm just going to leave it because I don't know what they're looking for with the, you know, looking at the, um, I mean, if you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, there's another faceless right there. This is a pretty dang cool one right here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up right here as well on this one. And then right over here, faceless cash flow. Um, it, it, see, it has two Fs right there, a little bit of a mess up right there. Um, 
And it's, you know, the text needs to be sharper and crisper, faceless YouTube, a little bit messed up right there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do the thumbs down uh, because it got the text wrong. I'm just going to, you know, do what they're asking, grade it if something's missing. Um, but it, uh, it looks like it also has a caption for the um, for the thumbnails as well. But I'm thoroughly impressed. These these images are just mind blowing. You'd have to go to Fiverr or go and hire someone on Upwork to create images like this. And this is just using AI to do this. It's built into this tool. It does all the optimization optimization for us. Um, one thing that I would love for them to add that I think that this is missing is the ability to go and do like research um, on. So this is really based on you create the content. You kind of already have a, you know, a, a keywords or context of the video, and then it does everything for you. But what about um, me trying to find ideas um find ideas to create content on? And that's what I think that they need to add in the future is a place for research to come out here and do things like um right over here if i come over here to daily ideas daily ideas with uh with vidIQ, it gives me all of these ideas right here using ai and it predicts um very high right here and that's where i got the idea for this vid the video that i um, just uh, optimized right so this is something that they need and they're using ai to suggest video ideas based on our channel and based on what's trending in my niche to give me daily content ideas as well i think that would be just game changing and this software actually could replace vidIQ if they add the research um, and daily ideas feature so hopefully they watch this entire review um, i'm thoroughly impressed with taja I'm going to keep my, um, you know, tier four deal, which I went in at plan four. I paid the $196 um, for this plan right over here. Link will be below. Leave a thumbs up or a like of the video. This was a long video, very thorough. I love this software. I'm going to start using it and see if I can, you know, just even if it adds 20 or 30% more engagement and views on my videos, then that is worth every penny of a tool like this. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time.